at some point, the, the ring went into your clothing. Is that right? You mean into my clothes? So yeah. Maybe I'm wearing some kind of gimmick under my... Yeah. Maybe. That's what we think. Sorry, no. <laughs> Could you please hold this sure. for a second? Could you please check it? No, you can't check it. Everything. It's too... I'm sorry about that. Oh baby, it is the week for rings to impossible locations. So let's check out some sneak peeks, have a load of giveaways, and find out what's the latest and greatest in magic this week. Ring ring, there's a thing. Please don't go anywhere after that joke. St stick around for a little bit longer. G'day champion, how are you? Welcome back to Murphy's Magic. What's new this week? I'm of course Bo Creamer. You know exactly who you are. Now for those playing along at home on your screen right now, you'll see a table of contents so you can jump along to any part of the video you so wish. So you don't need to see me flapping my gums all the time. You jump to wherever you want to go. Treat yourself, my friend. The world is your oyster. So let's get straight into all the sneak peeks and nitty gritty of this week. There's so much to go over and I can't wait to get into it with you. So let's waste no time, only worms, and get straight into question time. This first question comes in from Richard about the Black Mirror project and whether there's issues with any background noise or surrounding sounds. Now Richard, my friend, there's absolutely no issues with that at all. So you're all tickety-boo. Now this next question comes in from Jay Plays about the Black Mirror project as well and what effects need internet connection. Now that is a great question, my friend. Only maps and photo prediction need data. Everything else can work offline. Now this last question comes in about the bottle and when the bottle is broken, can you perform it again? Now my friend, once the bottle is broken, you can no longer perform the bottle. You need to buy another gimmick, but you can also buy the non-gimmick versions of the bottles if you want to break them or hand them out to the spectator to take home. Check out your favorite magic dealer for both of these options. Now let's wrap up this question time with last week's word, brekkie. What is brekkie? Well, brekkie is Australian slang for breakfast. So I hope you're sitting back, having your brekkie, watching this episode. Cause it's the perfect way to start your day. Now, what will this week's word be? Only time will tell my friend, but if you do have any questions on anything you see in this episode, please throw them down in the comment section below, but make sure you use the hashtag question time so I can find them amongst all the competition entries. Now let's find out what was released this last week in Magic. This part of the program is brought to you by Sucker Punch. They're just like poker chips, but way cooler. Now available right now from your favorite Magic shop is The Proposition by Ben Harris and JB Hayes and Free William Hicks by Dead Rebel Productions. If you wanna see more on these incredible releases, link in the description below right now. Now let's check out the world's greatest magic professor's nightmare. If there was ever an effect in magic that appeals to all audiences, it has to be the professor's nightmare. The professor's nightmare has everything. It can be performed as a sophisticated piece of magic or a comedy routine for kids shows. It is super visual and can be performed completely surrounded. In this effect, you take three pieces of rope, all differing in lengths that become the same size. Then they change back. Now in this release, you'll be taught by six different performers, all with their own singular takes on this wonderful effect. This set comes complete with super high quality, ultra white rope with sealed ends. So fraying will never be an issue. Now the professor's nightmare has become a classic in magic because of its powerful effect it has on the audience. And everything is examinable before and after the routine with no switching or extra gimmicks. So if you wanna see more on The Professor's Nightmare, there's a link in the description below right now. We can pick it up for $19.95, and you need a skill level of an intermediate magician to do it. Now let's check out Friday's release, Sudoku. Now, have you ever wished you could read minds? Prepare to astound your audience by predicting their choices with an eerie precision. The secret? Well, it's not magic, but it sure feels like it. Sudoku from Iravel Magic is a cleverly designed prop that allows you to predict the audience's choices with ease. Now here's some key features. It's portable, so both device and receiver are compact, ensuring easy transport for use anywhere. It uses real-time response and has a range of up to 50 meters. It's easy to use with no complicated setups or confusing buttons. It's flawlessly camouflaged 
both the board and pen have complete normal appearance. So if you want to see more on Sudoku, there's a link in the description below right now. We can pick it up for $200 and you need a skill level of absolutely nothing. There's no skill level required. Yes, that's right. It is now time for the news. Now, if you missed it on Saturday on Saturday Sorcery, Robert Lupu joined us to teach us his awesome card to bill effect. If you haven't checked it out, make sure you do card on screen right now. Not the card used in the effect, but you know, the, the thumbnail that's on screen. Make sure you check it out straight after this episode. Then on Sunday, our eyes were treated to more glorious visual pleasures when Mario Lopez joined us to show us his awesome card vanish gone wrong to card color change. Make sure you check it out. I can't describe it. It is just so mind bogglingly awesome. Check it out, card on screen right now. Then on yesterday's episode of Stumped, I took a closer look at the perfect souvenir for weddings and all around walk around gigs. Make sure you check it out. I took a deep dive into Ben Williams' rings card on screen right now. He really goes above and beyond in this release. The gimmick is oh, so good. Make sure you check it out. Now it's time to check out this week's dealer of the week. For this week, we're taking a closer look at SoCal playing cards. Now the Cortez family take pride in packaging up all of their playing cards as all decks are packaged in a carrot case creations DS1 sleeve. Then all orders are also packaged with an eco-friendly bubble wrap and are packed into a cardboard box. And as an extra special little taster, all orders come with a super sweet SoCal playing cards logo sticker. So never have to worry about your playing cards come dinged, banged up or in bad condition again. Now, apart from selling the latest and greatest in all playing cards, they also hold an auction site we can go pick up those rare and custom decks. So if you want to see more on SoCal playing cards, there's a link in the description below right now. We can go check them out. I highly recommend you do. I spend hours on there looking at some incredible decks every day. Now let's check out this week's Artist of the Week, where this week we're taking a look at Magic Nick T and his performance of the Leprechaun. Nick, my dearest of dearest friends, over to you. I gotta be honest, I love this routine. It is just so visual, so good. Thank you so much, Nick, you absolute legend. If you wanna see more of Nick's work, a link in the description below right now to his socials. Make sure you go check him out and treat yourself to all of his visually goodness. Now, if you have a performance that you would love to be seen on What's New This Week, all you need to do is tag us in your content. I'll take a gander, share it in a future week's episode, or even share it on our social media. It's really that easy. This just in, the random comment entry winners from last week. If you're from Instagram, YouTube, or Facebook, congratulations, my friends. You're the winners of last week's secret prize. Make sure you DM me on any of Murphy's socials, and I'll get that prize out to you quicker. You can say, hey, Bo, I've liked the video, because I know it'll help out the video loads, and it'll bring a big smile to your beautiful face. Stop it, you're such a charmer. Now, if you want a chance to win this episode's secret prize, all you need to do is comment in the comment section below what is your favorite effect from this episode. Make sure you comment on all of our social media platforms for more chances to win. Then next week, I'll draw out three random names at random and you'll be announced in the next episode. So good luck. Now let's jump over to this week's reviewer on the streets, where this week we're jumping over to Magic Orthodoxy and his review of Vox. David, my friend, you know what to do. Angles wise, there's nothing to see. The, the deck is gonna, will, will be a normal shuffled deck as far as your spectators are concerned. There's, there's nothing glaring, and there's no gaff cards in the deck at all, either. And th th that'll feel to them like it was inspected, right? Because you're gonna hand the deck to them, they're gonna cut the deck several times, they can even pick the deck up and count down to their card. So there, there's nothing to find there. And anybody familiar with iPhone and Siri will see a, a normal desktop. It is a normal desktop. It's your desktop, okay? It's not, gonna, it's not gonna be somebody else's desktop. It's not gonna be a graphic of a desktop. It's your desktop. And they're gonna see your notifications. So I think all of these pluses, these positives, this is the reason why, you know, out on the forum, as people were saying, this is one of their favorite apps. Even though it's not an app, it's the anti-app app. It's the non-app app 
David, 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 how is it possible that every single time you do a review, it gets better and better? Thank you so much, my friend. If you want to see the whole review in its glorious entirety, make sure you do. Link in the description below right now. Make sure you go check it out. Now it's time to check out this week's deck of the week. With this week, we're looking at the Odyssey Covenant Edition Limited Playing Cards. Now this deck is limited edition to only 1,000 units. There's a grey matte high quality tuck case with teal and silver foil, with metallic premium ink on the back design and faces, all printed on vintage paper stock with a legendary finish. Now these 54 playing cards are all poker size. So if you want to see more on the Odyssey Covenant Edition, link in the description below right now, we can pick them up for $18. Hey my friend, get in here, a little bit closer. There you go, no, a little bit closer. There you go, it's time for what's back in stock. As terrifying as that was, it's about to get even more terrifying with The Haunted Box by Jao Miranda. The Haunted Box, it's an amazing trick that allows you to perform a variety of different effects. For example, any card is chosen, signed and lost in the deck. Then you tell the spectator to place the cards one by one inside the Haunted Box. After the spectator deals the cards one by one, the box closes itself and the spectator signed the card, it's in his hand. The spectators will be blown away with Haunted Box because the magician never does nothing. The box works by itself since it really is self-contained. In fact, the magician can be in another room that the magic still happens. The box is super easy to perform. As soon as you receive it, you are going to perform all of the routines in a moment's notice. Our engineering actually took a lot of time to make each haunted box. From the initial concept to the final product, it took us about six months of intensive labor. And each haunted box is actually made by hand, so it really takes us a lot of time and care into the detail that goes into each unit produced. You can perform haunted box with a variety of different objects, with playing cards, billets, small objects, and we even teach you a version that you can perform for kids. Get your haunted box now and be ready to amaze your audiences in a moment's notice. see more on the Haunted Box Deluxe by Jao Miranda, link in the description below right now. We can pick it up for $350. This next back in stock item sold out insanely quick. It's Warp Zag. Hey everybody, Joel here to tell you all about Warp Zag. Whoa! No <laughs> way. Warp Zag is an amazing piece of magic and it gets killer reactions every single time. It's easy to do and it gets reactions like this. <laughs> I've taken two classics in magic, gave them both a facelift, then fused them both together. And the best bit, this can be performed modular. Are you ready? If I take the card, I'll do it really slow so you see it happen. Are you ready? Watch. Remember that click? 
That's the moment. Look. Oh, no way. Yeah, check this out. Look, it goes right back. Holy sh**. <laughs> In fact, I tell you what we can do is we take this half and we take this half. I can actually take both halves and fuse them. Oh, very nice. Yeah, that's nice. I have just seen Warp Zag by Joel Dickinson, and oh my gosh, this thing is absolutely amazing. First of all, when I saw it, it fooled me completely. It's easy to do. It resets, and it's probably, no, it isn't probably. It is definitely the best version of Card Warp I have ever seen. But watch this. I take it, look, give it that little shake, it instantly fuses right back together. It is so visual, it is so fooling, it is so deceptive, and it is so deceivingly simple. Hi, I'm Matt. I've been using Warp Zag for a few weeks now. It is awesome. The reactions are mint. They're going to fold that card up, put it straight in their wallet. They're going to keep that as a souvenir for God knows how long and be sharing that story to all their mates. It is awesome, mate. Top job as always. Every single Warp Zag is handmade right here in the Miracle Studio. Now, I know what you're thinking. You want to see a full performance, right? Let's do it. gets my highest recommendation. You need to pick this up now. It's amazing. Now, if you want to see more on Warp Zag, link in the description below right now. We can pick it up for $34.95, and you need a skill level of an intermediate magician to do it. This last back in stock item takes the card to phone to the newest heights. This is Showcase 2.0 by Thomas Seeley and Mark Traversoni. When my friend Thomas Seeley first showed me Showcase, I knew instantly we were about to revolutionize card to phone. <laughs> Showcase blurs the line between digital, physical, and magical, taking the classic card to phone effect into a new dimension. Hold your hand out for me, what was your card? <laughs> the ability to show your hands completely empty and show your phone all around before producing your spectator's card at will. Showcase provides a universe of new ideas and handlings, allowing you to do things never before possible, never before this clean and visual completely surrounded. See that? Look, I got it! Oh. Like that? You mean the eight of diamonds? Oh my god! I heard that shit coming! Oh my god! Don't take my word for it. Here's the creator himself, Thomas Seeley. Hi, I'm Tom, and I'm so happy to be teaming up with Saturn Magic to bring you Showcase. This has solved so many of the problems that have restricted card to phone from being a real worker. No more mercury folding, hiding things under your hand, concealing things behind your phone. This is their chosen card in your phone, ready to pop out completely under your control on command. This is Showcase.
Now, if you want to see more on Showcase 2.0, there's a link in the description below right now. We can pick it up for $60 and you need a skill level of a beginner magician to do it. Now, let's check out some downloads that you don't want to miss. This first download is Chris Brown's At The Table Lecture. Hello, I'm Gregory Wilson with Chris Brown, who just did a lecture that was fantastic. It was a unique combination of uh, physical and mental. And when I say mental, not necessarily mentalism, but something that makes you think. It was very thought provoking. I think he's very thoughtful. Uh, finger popping knuckle busters. Uh, let's say, for example, just any card off the top. In this case, it's the 10 of spades. Walk very carefully, drop the 10, and it's already done. Wait, do that again. Did you do something? Plus a lot of things that, again, will make you think. On that note, this is my very first at-the-table lecture, first lecture for that sake, and it is something that I have put a lot of time and devotion into with the thought behind it that I, I wanted everything that I have taught here to be versatile, very eye-catching, very appealing and uh, something that you can use in multiple different scenarios. I cover things like the orbit control, uh, Dr. Manhattan change, and I talk a little bit about the Venus trap along with uh, the Rain Man algorithm. Uh, you're born on a Saturday, you'll turn 65 on a Wednesday. If you were born 100 years prior, that would have been a Monday. And uh, this year, you said October 21st. Yeah, that's right, Saturday's your next birthday. Plan accordingly. <laughs> but also, the trick that cannot be explained something that I've been working on for a very, very long time, but up till now have never released it. All I want you to do is plain and simply, very, very simply, just drop your hand anywhere. Just, just drop it. Perfect. Where do you stop at? Can you, can you space? Yeah. Why don't we spell it? S P A D E. Right? Mm -hmm. I placed one card underneath the empty box. Turn that over. Damn. At the end of the day, honestly, I hope you take more from this than I do. I hope you take everything that I have given you and multiply it by a thousand. You have all the capabilities of doing anything that I can do and way more. If you want to see more on Chris Brown's glorious at the table lecture, link in the description below right now. We can pick it up for $9.95. This next download is the Venom A Can by Viper Magic.
going to see more on the Venom A can, link in the description below right now. We can pick it up for just $10. This last download is called Stop. Now, if you want to see more on Stop, link in the description below right now. We can pick it up for $9.95. G'day, champion. Welcome back to Murphy's Magic Game Show. It's me, your host, Grizzly Peterson. Let's jump over and check out what the prizes are for this week. Whoa, all those prizes for just one of you. That's tastier than sipping a throffy out by the billabong. Now let's see who won tonight's prize. How are we gonna get that started? Hang on, I know. The old stroke of the beard and dip of the driver hat. That should do it. Yeah, there you go. Whoa, hey, whoa, oh, close, mate. No cigar. Whoa, hey, oh, hey. Hey, congratulations, champion. Make sure you DM me on any of Murphy's socials. I'll get that prize out to you quicker. You can say bunning snag. Now, if you want to enter into next week's competition, make sure you comment below and I'll put you into the running for next week. Now, congratulations to our winner for this week and good luck for everyone for next week. Now back to Bo in the studio. Oh, here we are. It's the sneak peek section and I've got so much to show you and I can't wait. So let's get straight into it with the first sneak peek. I've never cut out a singer song so quick in my life that's how excited I am. This first sneak peek isn't really a sneak peek. It's been on pre-sale for the longest time and it is officially off pre-sale. This is Masika's Ring Fly. We come up with something amazing, and I want to show you the Masika ring flag. <laughs> the entire system built into this key. Right. This one? Yeah. Not my right. Maybe, maybe <laughs> the, the right over here? <laughs> very quiet, and at the same time, very smooth. Yes, but not my right. <laughs> Guys, it's right there. Can you see it? This is super simple, super practical. And now I want to share it with you. Now, if you want to see more on the Masika Ring Flight, and I highly recommend you do, I have one just here. I've been playing with it loads. If you haven't checked it out, make sure you do. Link in the description below right now. We can pick it up for $74.95, and you need a skill level of a beginner magician to do it. This next sneak peek is Adrian's Ring to Shoelace. Sharply dressed and ready to fool, here's Adrian 
Kara Tala. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> thank you very much. Hello, I'm Adrián Carratalá and I'm a magic inventor. What I'm going to show you today may look like an ordinary trick, but don't blink, because I've taken it one step further. And now, as with any ordinary trick, who can lend me a ring, please? <laughs> Whoa, so many people, let's go into the audience. Let's find a jungle. For example, hello. What's your name? Maya. Maya. Yeah. Nice to meet you, Maya. Nice to meet you. Can I borrow your ring, please? Yeah. yeah. Whoa. I didn't expect it's such an expensive ring. <laughs> I hope you have an insurance. I do. Do, do you? <laughs> please join me on the stage and, and let's give her a big round of applause. Come here, this side. Okay. So, just one question. Will you be able to recognize your ring later? Of course. That's important, so that I don't get reported to the police. <laughs> okay. Please, hold your ring through the silk. Hold it from the stone, yes? Make sure that it's your ring with the right hand. I'm not a cheater. Yet. <laughs> Audience, keep an eye on this, because this ladder will be the grand finale. You know, when I, when I go like so, everybody goes, oh, <laughs> thanks. <laughs> this ladder will be the grand finale. <laughs> really? <laughs> okay, we're almost done. On the count of three, I want you to let go of the ring. I'll throw the handkerchief in the air, then I'll catch the ring. I'll make it disappear, and remember, the ladder will be the grand finale. <laughs> Better. Remember, just let go of the ring and I'll do the rest. One, two, three. <laughs> People usually applaud here, <laughs> but you don't have to. Anyway, thanks. Now is your turn. Please, very careful, bring the ladder to the center of the stage. Be careful. All of it? Yeah, careful. Take it, take it, careful. Okay, stop. Here, go this side of the, of the ladder, keep it in, in, in the center of, the, of both. Take the box, open it, and show everybody what's inside. <laughs> it's empty. Do you know why? Because this is not an ordinary magic trick. <laughs> I'm sorry if I made you believe that the ring would be in the box, but that would be too obvious. Many magicians do that, and I promise you that I go one step further. Your ring is now in a place that was impossible for me to get to, because you were all looking at me the entire time. Give me your right hand, and help me to take the step further. Your ring is tied to my shoelace. To my shoelace, audience! <laughs> Isn't that amazing? But I want you to come close and check it by yourself. Is it your ring and is it really tight? It is tight. It's tight. Let me untie it and take it by yourself. Take it. You can take it, yeah? Is it your ring? It is. Of course it is. <laughs> Big applause for her. Thank you very much. You can go do it. Thank you. It drops tomorrow, the 4th of April at 10.30 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. You can pick it up for $225 and you need a skill level of an intermediate magician to do it. This last sneak peek is the WGM's Ring on Rope set. The Ring on Rope is a classic of magic. Murphy's Magic is proud to present the world's greatest magic Ring on Rope set. There's a good reason why this effect has stood the test of time. First, it's versatile. The ring on rope is perfect for all types of performers. It can be performed from intimate close-up settings to the grand stage. It's also perfect for a walk around as everything fits right into your pocket. Ring on rope routines are quick, visual, and extremely magical. 
It's the ultimate solid through solid as everything can be handed out before, during, and after the effect. You can perform it solo or as an interactive effect where you get the spectators involved. In this beautiful set, you will receive ultra-wide cordless rope, a solid, heavy chrome ring, and detailed instructions. You'll find seven different approaches to this classic from six Masters of Magic. They all bring you their very best. Get your ring on rope today. If you want to see more on this incredible ring on rope set, it drops tomorrow as well at 10.30 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. You can pick it up for $25 and you need a skill level of a beginner magician to do it. Now, my friends, if you do have any questions on anything you've seen in this episode, please throw them down in the comment section below, but make sure you use the hashtag question time so I can find them amongst all the competition entries. Now, I know you're incredibly busy. you got a Wednesday to get back to, so I will see you on Saturday for a Saturday Sorcery, on our Discord for our weekly jams, trivia games, hangouts, and even more, or I'll see you next Tuesday for a special episode of Stumped. Now take care, my friend. See you later. Bye for now. Cool. Hey, whoa, what's that? Oh, you should definitely check out that. Oh, there's so much good magic in there. You won't regret it. Hey, whoa, hey. Look at this bad boy. You should definitely subscribe if you haven't already. Subscribe, then watch that. Oh, it's a good day to treat yourself.